Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is August 10th as of the recording of this video and Samsung just launched the latest software update to the Galaxy Z Fold 4 and the Galaxy Z Flip 4. Now the Flip 4 I don't have for this video. We just factored out a reset it last night. I'll be sending it off probably tomorrow as that's our trade-in that we did for the Flip 5. And pretty much the same story here for the Fold 4. This one will probably be factored out a reset within the next day or two and sent back in as well too since this is the trade-in for the Fold 5. Now this one is going to give you that security patch of August 1st. The size is 407 megabytes and this version ends in CWG4. So pretty much with all of that said, this is probably the last video that I'm going to have showing off this Fold 4 device. Now this one just basically states the new software update can include but not limited to device stability improvements, bug fixes, new and or enhanced features, which I don't think there's going to be anything new with this update just because they're waiting for all of those to pop off with Samsung One UI 6.0, which I believe the beta for 6.0 should hopefully be launching very soon, or maybe this one. We're waiting for that update of Samsung One UI 5.1.1, which more than likely that's gonna be the case, just because these are the flips and the folds. I'm sure the One UI 6 is gonna be for the regular candy bar devices. And the next thing that we'll see here is 5.1.1 to see if what we can get from the Galaxy Z Fold 5 and Flip 5. But yeah, so we're pretty excited for that one. And then there's also just further improvements to the performance. So we're just gonna go through, hit on install. We're going to see what we can find that's new after this. I already wrote down a few different version numbers of different Samsung services and applications. We'll also take a look at the Google Play uh, service update as well to see if there's any Google Play updates. We'll take a look inside of the Samsung store as well to see if there's any updates there. So we're just going to see what we can find since there's really pretty much nothing written with this one. Now it's always at this point in the video that I like to state that if you're brand new here at the channel Jimmy is Promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on your Samsung Galaxy devices. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. So now that the update is done and complete, let's go through the phone. Let's see if there's anything that's brand new or at least newer versions of certain applications and services. This first one we'll take a look at will just be Samsung Home. A lot of times if there's any problems with your home screen or any of those widgets or anything like that, sometimes some of the legginess and cluckiness could be with the home screens. And so we're going to go through, see if this one has a newer version. Before the update, it was 14.10349. Looks as if this one is the exact same. Now we're going to take a look at the camera just to see if there's any improvements or maybe autofocus fixes, uh, fixing any type of bluish lines or anything like that. Before this update, it was 13.10034. So it looks as if the exact same version sitting there. We're going to take a look again over here at gallery. This version used to be 14.10060. Looks like this one's the same one. So it looks as if so far haven't found anything new. Uh, most of it is just going to be on the back end, a lot of the security stuff as well. But again, just try my best here to find what there is. Instead of Samsung phone, we have 14.128. Looks like this is the exact same version there. We're going to take a look inside of Samsung files. So inside of the Samsung My Files, this one was 14.10318. 14.10318. So again, still nothing new. Usually with these, I usually try to find at least one and it looks as if we weren't able to. Now we're going to go and take a look inside of the Galaxy Store because sometimes after updates or during updates, there are updates that actually happen within the Galaxy Store. So there are three sitting inside of here. This one is the nearby uh, device scanning. You also have Samsung Smart Switch Mobile and Samsung Text to Speech. So let's see when these ones popped up. So it looks as if this one was brand new from about eight days ago. Samsung Smart Switch, Samsung Smart Switch updated just yesterday on August 9th. And then Samsung, the nearby device scanning. This one was updated just two days ago on August 8th. So if you haven't looked inside of your Galaxy Store, it looks as if you have about three of them that could be sitting in there. And if you have more, you know, Samsung applications or even third party applications, you might see a few more if you got them from this store itself. Now what I want to do is take a look inside of the notes from Samsung Mobile to see how many of these were high risk or moderate risk updates. So how I do that is I take a look at the software information page. I tap on this right there. And actually up here, you can see that our Google Play system update was only up until March 1st. So we're going to go through and see if there is any updates after that. And the thing about it is you have to go through it over and over and over and over several times, to actually get it downloaded, placed on the phone, get it switched over, all the content, do it again. So it's, it's actually more than just hitting it once or twice. 
So on the screen here, we're going to go inside. We're going to take a look at the documentation of everything. So we're going to go inside of the Android security bulletin. You want to click that. Then we're going to click on Samsung. And if you want to go directly to the source right here, which is the screen, I will actually just place this link below the video inside the description. So this way you can see what is coming from Samsung mobile security. This is the security updates and it's going to be for the month of August. Now going through here, the very top section is going to be everything from the Google side of things. So for critical, it looks as if there's only two for critical. For high, this is usually always, if I see this many, it's about 50 or 60. Looks as if there's only one for moderate. And then scrolling down, these are the ones that are for Samsung. The SVE, any of these ones, are all on the Samsung side of things. So it looks as if we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Ooh, that's 19 of them coming on the Samsung side of things. So this one is gonna be pretty important because sometimes when it comes down to these updates, you may only see about two, three, four, maybe five of these on the Samsung side with you going past a dozen. Definitely important, especially even on the Google side where there's even more than that and a lot of them are high risk. So make sure you guys take a look and get this update put on to your Galaxy Z Fold 4 and Flip 4. I don't see it yet on the Flip and Fold 5s. And I also don't see this one yet on the Galaxy S23 devices. So it looks as if the Fold 4 and the Flip 4 are the first ones to get the August update. And now for the very last thing in this video, and that's taking a look at the Google Play system update. Let's see if there's an update here. I mean, we are in August. It looks as if there should be something coming in. So you wanna go through, you wanna hit download and install. Now, the thing about this is that it's going to go through this several times. So it's almost like the first time it finds it and then you restart it. The next time you click on that, it's actually when it installs it and puts it on your phone. And then you actually go through it again to see if there's another update. So anytime that you go through that Google Play system update, which is just to make sure that you have the latest uh, security update for the Google Play of when you download any of those third party applications, you always just want to make sure you have the latest version. And again, you have to go through it several times. So now that the phone turned back on, let's go back into the software information page. You can still see it still says March 1st. So even though it looks as if maybe you did something, you actually didn't. You go back inside of that Google Play system updates. Once you click there, you're going to see a much larger number. This one's sitting at 161. And so you just want to make sure that the latest security updates from Google update now to keep safe and improve device stability. Let's go through, let's download and install again restart the device and let's see if there's another round of this again after this one i'm really hoping that we can get much much closer to the month of august even if it stops in june or july and it's and it looks as if we can't even find anything after that that's okay let's just keep going through this process so here we are again it turned right back on and went back inside of the software information for some reason it still says march 1st of 2023 don't know what the heck is going on it looks as if we downloaded a couple of them look at this it looks now it's even bigger this one's sitting at 735 so i'm not gonna bore you with all of this but again this is several steps this is the third time of hitting update and restarting my phone i bet you anything there's probably going to be two or three more after this one but just make sure you go through that always have the latest update to your galaxy store system updates and that's pretty much the video for today i wasn't able to find anything specific when it comes down to newer or uh features on the phone because again they're waiting for samsung one ui 5.1.1 to come out with these devices the beta version of samsung one ui 6 is coming out super soon probably within the next couple days and that's pretty much it for this video i wasn't able to find anything this update came out just a couple days ago for the fold 4 flip 4 so take a look at it these are the first devices from samsung to get it this month but hopefully Hopefully you guys appreciated this video. Even though I couldn't find anything, hopefully you still found it to kind of be a little helpful. Uh, just again, just trying to find something in the background. At least it has a newer security update of August 1st, and I'm still going through all of the Google Play system updates as well. But if you guys did enjoy this, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.